Welcome to Two Minute Doctrine. Our goal in this series is to explore Christian doctrine in two minutes or less. In a previous video, we defined theology as a science with four tools, Holy Scripture, tradition, reason, and experience. In this video, we're going to ask the question, how can theology speak today? Let's put two minutes on the clock as we explore this question. One presupposition of Christian theology is that God can be known because God has revealed himself to us. However, you might hear somebody say, but you can't know God the same way that you know science. I can test science and see that it's true. I can't test God in the same way. That argument presumes a form of naturalism, that nature is all that there is, but it is not correct. Theologian Thomas Aquinas addressed this issue in the 13th century, stating, If the only way open to us for knowledge were solely that of reason, the human race would remain in the blackest shadow of ignorance. But science! Yes, science! It is important to remember that science will always contain falsity in it for two reasons. First, the limitation of human perception. Second, sinful desires of humanity. Science is not free from bias, historical limitations, and falsity. The Bible itself asks for close inspection. 1 John 4 asks every Christian to test the spirits and to see if it is from God. Okay, but I don't need God to feel awe for the universe or appreciate life. The Bible recognizes in Roman 1 that all people can appreciate life and feel awe. But it also states that without knowledge of God, that appreciation becomes worship of the creation or of humanity. Paul states, Claiming to be wise, they became fools, and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images resembling mortal man. Appreciating life and nature is not proof for a practical denying of God, but it is proof that something will be worshipped. But we don't need God to believe in things like human equality and the goodness of man. Thomas Aquinas asks his readers that if a person has a physical or mental defect that keeps them from knowledge, are they less human? He asks what answer human reason or science could give to answer this question. Aquinas replies that the revelation of God and humanity created in the image of God can maintain the equality of humanity in all circumstances. He concludes, Human reason is not sufficient to grasp all things. It is the acme of stupidity for a man to suspect as false what is divinely revealed simply because it cannot be investigated by reason. We hope you enjoyed this quick summary of a Christian doctrine. Please like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more videos just like this one. If there's a specific doctrine that you'd like us to cover, please leave it in the comment section below. Science is not free from bias, historical limitations, and falsity. Like when you dig up a skull and then you glue it together and claim it's a missing link and then deceive a whole bunch of people.